Good people, I'm Dmitri, and to tell you the truth, I've been having so much fun with all these new mice releases because I get to basically revisit my CSGO practice because outside of using a mouse or testing a new peripheral, I don't have much time to game and to train. But there's been so many awesome mice releases recently, and this is what I want to talk about today, the SteelSeries Rival 3 Wireless. The reason why this mouse is so important is because it's only $49, which means it's competing directly against the Logitech G305, which has been the mouse that I would recommend for budget gamers who want a wireless experience, but at only $50. Now, what's really interesting about SteelSeries is that they don't really have an answer for the really lightweight mice on the market to compete against Glorious and Razer, but I'm really happy to see a budget introduction that is solid. In this video, I want to highlight advantages and disadvantages of both, so you can make up your mind on which $50 wireless mouse to buy. Wow, a mirror finish with ARGB lighting on a team group memory kit? Not so crazy after all. The entire module shines and reflects light for that unique look. The kits are available in 16 or 32 gigabyte capacities with up to 4,000 megahertz speeds. Check it out below. Really, the main advantage with the Rival 3 Wireless is what's written on the box, year-long battery life. The mouse is powered by two AAA batteries with that receiver compartment right in between. So with both batteries installed in there, you have up to 400 hours of continuous usage at 1000 Hertz, and that is incredible. In contrast with the G305 that only lasts up to 250 hours, still plenty of battery in there, and you can swap it out because you will get that low battery indicator plenty in advance before it actually dies on you, for both models, by the way. So the battery advantage does go to the Rival 3 uh, wireless, but not by a significant margin. And what's really cool here is that the mouse can be powered off by a single battery on either side. So not only do you have this sort of weight distribution potential customization, but you can also remove one of the batteries to give you a much lighter body. And so this is one of the advantages, but also a disadvantage because the mouse itself without any batteries in there is almost 10 grams heavier than the G305 without a battery in there. So when we fully load up the batteries in both mice, you can see that 106 Six grams for the Rival 3 wireless is a bit on the heavy side. But removing one of the AAA batteries gives us an equivalent weight to that of the G305. Now the G305 has an additional trick up its sleeve because you can substitute uh, an included battery with the lithium ion battery, which is lighter, therefore reducing the weight there. So that can be applied here too. If you find lithium AAA batteries in here, you can use one and that will give you a nice lightweight body. This conversation about weight really gave me an appreciation for other wireless lightweight mice that have the battery built in, like the Razer Viper Ultimate and the Logitech G Pro Wireless, both of which are under 80 grams. And so if you look at the entire stack weight-wise, the Rival 3 Wireless isn't anything special, but with the single battery removed, you get the same weight as the G305. Now the build quality for the $49 price point feels awesome, just like it does on the $29 wired version. Like the top cover here that slides out easily, but is nicely secured in place. The coating on the entire body is textured, giving you that feeling of anti Slip. And despite the body being asymmetrical, this is not an ambidextrous shape, meaning the browser buttons are only on the left side. So this is a right hand mouse only. Size and shape wise, this is a mouse for medium to large hands. And for my hybrid fingertip grip, it suits me perfectly. The flaring in the back is nice for my thumb. But to be honest, I prefer the shape of the G305 much more versus the Rival 3, just because the slimmer shape and a slightly smaller body uh, is more preferred for my hand size. Another cool feature about the mouse is that we have Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz connection. So you can either use the dongle, which has the SteelSeries logo on it for easy recognition or switch it to Bluetooth mode, which will then blink the uh, scrolling wheel in blue, indicating that it is actively pairing. This is excellent for Mac users or if you want to spare the USB port on your laptop and then switch over to 2.4 gigahertz if that is connected to something. And then yeah, two connectivities on a single mouse at $49 price point, that's pretty awesome. The G305 in contrast only has the dongle connection, no Bluetooth here. The primary triggers feel awesome and are rated at 60 million clicks, which is also incredible for the $49 price point. While our good friends at Logitech with the G305, the switches feel amazing, but they're rated at only 10 million clicks. <laughs> I'll tell you probably be switching the mice in the 60 million lifespan long before you actually get there.
I have always liked the series scroll wheels because they're low to the body, meaning if I'm doing the middle click, I'm not accidentally activating any of the triggers and the scroll steps are nice and tactile. The scroll wheel on the G305 has slightly lighter actuation, but still a really good scroll wheel for the $49 price point. Both mice have the DPI switch up top with up to five profiles that you can configure in the software and the software, the Steel Series Engine 3 and the G Hub do exactly the same thing with DPI uh, sensitivity changes and your button customization. The sensor on Rival 3 is slightly superior in terms of maximum DPI at 18,000 with the True Move Air, while the Hero sensor on the G305 goes up to 12,000 DPI, but that really doesn't matter. My gaming has been absolutely flawless with either mouse in terms of sensor performance, no spin outs, really low liftoff distance, and precise DPI adjustment too. Since I played 1000 DPI and both mice have identical weight, uh, when I'm using the Rival 3 wireless with only a single battery, the only difference here would be the shape and I still prefer the G305 shape because I feel like I have a bit more control with my flicks, whereas with the Rival 3 wireless, it's a slightly chunkier mouse, but still quite comfortable. One really interesting tidbit about the scroll wheel is that it only lights up when the mouse is not in use, therefore preserving power when you are actually navigating the mouse because you can't really see the scroll wheel anyway. The one advantage of the G305 hover is that it wakes up instantly after you start to move it, after it goes to sleep, whereas with the Rival 3 wireless, you have to physically click one of the buttons or the scroll wheel for it to wake up, because actually moving the mouse doesn't wake it up. In terms of glide, I prefer the feet on the Rival 3 wireless because they're larger and are much smoother. I have been gaming with this mouse for the past two weeks and my CSGO performance has definitely improved since I started to train more. And I really appreciate this bare bones foam factor that hits a really good price point while still offering incredible battery life and Bluetooth functionality. It is probably one of the reasons why this mouse is heavier versus the G305. So technically this thing is superior with higher switch lifespan, better sensor and much higher battery life, almost double 400 hours versus 250. Honestly though, I've been using the G305 with my notebook and I'm down to one battery bar out of the three, but I mean, it's been like nine months or so. So unless you're constantly using this as your main desktop mouse, you probably won't reach the one year battery life, but 400 hours still is fantastic. And it is slightly lower when you remove the battery. So if you have both batteries populated, the compromise here is the mouse is slightly heavy. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the G305 versus Rival 3 wireless. Let me know which one of these you would pick and why. I'm Dimitri, thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna go back to gaming now because uh, that's, uh, that's what I do now, apparently. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.